common joke in the fan base of Dota 2 is that the game is so busted that it wraps around to being balanced again. Of course, there are always exceptions even to this philosophy, with the most notable of which being undoubtedly the Fountain Hook, an extremely difficult technique that nevertheless helped pull Team Na'Vi to victory in the winner semifinals of the International 3. Na'Vi were in a pretty good spot having made it out of pools in the upper bracket and trouncing Orange Esports in a 2-1 reverse sweep following a warm-up round. Awaiting them in winter semi-finals was China's own Tong Fu, a team notorious for snowballing hard once momentum was on their side. The victor would move on to winner's finals, taking them one step closer to bringing home the $1.4 million grand prize. The first game swung convincingly in Navi's favor with the team achieving an early lead which helped them clinch it 36 to 13. Of particular note was mid laner Dendi, whose talent at catching foes with Pudge's meat hook skill bagged him an impressive 14 kills. Unfortunately, the next round didn't go as well. Though Navi took an early lead, Tongfu's ban and banter knowledge of the opponent's habits and strategies provided them ample ammunition and they wasted no time shooting holes in Navi's game plan once they had the opportunity. 15 minutes later, Tong Fu had claimed the game, their characteristic momentum allowing them to nearly double Navi's kills. It all came down to the third round and Tong Fu's newfound momentum made it seem like they were destined to leave Navi in the dust. With an early game advantage of five kills and 5,000 gold over the Ukrainian team, Tong Fu started things off with a bang and gave Navi very little room to mount a comeback. However, there was an ace in the hole that absolutely no one could have anticipated, and it was all thanks to Dendi regaining access to Pudge in Navi's darkest hour. Tong Fu is going to continue to push. They're not done. Mech still hasn't even been used. There's a hook. How? Brought all the way back to the base. Cleaned up by the fountain. Utilizing an infamous technique nicknamed the Fountain Hook, Dendi coordinated with Team Puppy to combine Pudge's meat hook with Shen's teleport skill. The result? Dendi dragging anyone unfortunate enough to be snared all the way back to their base, inevitably leading to a kill and therefore a 5-4 advantage for Na'Vi. Despite being derided as broken or exploiting a glitch, the Fountain Hook takes immense skill and communication to pull off. If either player's timing is off by a split second, it achieves nothing but wasting valuable time and positioning while doing nothing to harm the intended target. Pulling off one fountain hook in an intense, high-stakes game would be considered impressive, but then Dendi did it again. Farther up, he would have been able to throw the hook, but the thing is there was a range creep in the way. And there oh, it is. there it is, yep. Banana going for a ride on the Dendi Express. Welcome. And again. Now, Navi, though, in position. They might try something. Dindy's going to try it again. Can he? Got him that time. <laughs> See you in the base, Moo. Welcome home. <laughs> and a post. Not that he needed to. Gives him a little assistance. And again. He just goes to Tong Fu. And now. Charging back out, Dindy gonna be spotted, and he gets, no, he doomed the chair, and that's a much better choice. Oh, he got him! He got him! Not gonna follow it all the way, because we got a battle to watch. And again. And we what? might see another engagement breakout, as Kuro, up, oh, there we go, the hook, got uh. him! <laughs> Zan Xing taking the long ride to Shanghai. Welcome home. And again and again. Down. Can you say Mega Creeps? Navi, he got him! One more! This is what you call one for the road! Man, I, can't, I cannot believe that they actually did it. For a grand total of seven fountain hooks in a single game. The psychological impact of being repeatedly killed by a sneaky strategy left Tong Fu tilted, which only led to further deaths by Pudge's hazardous hook, which could have easily been avoided by a level-headed pro. Dendi's fantastic fishing helped Navi mount a decisive turnabout, reversing their fate in the game's twilight minutes to secure their place in winner's finals. Many decried the legitimacy of Dendi's strategy, even his fellow competitors who believed that Tong Fu was the better team and deserved the victory. But regardless of what anyone thinks, it's undeniable that Dendi and Puppy's united power was as memorable as plays can be, birthing a Dota moment that's still talked about to this day.